welcome again to another video today i will be doing for you invisible cornrow braids i am preparing the hair right now i'm blowing it out i already shampooed her hair we're going to be using the expressions the number 350 which is her ear color although she has more than one color in her hair but the 350 will work well so I'm just detangling her here and make sure everything is straight so that I can go ahead and start her braids. So I'm blowing it out as much as possible. Then I'm sectioning her here. So it's best to blow your hair in section guys, especially if your hair is natural. So we're going to be doing an updo, one that is catched to the back, so it's an updo that is um, catched to the back, it's a ponytail to the back. So I'll be giving her a center part and I'm just sectioning the hair so that I can get some of it out of the way. She wants her hair to be cornrowed with a little sweep to the sides. But because of her hairline, she doesn't have much hairline, so I had to give it a little different style, just a little twist to it because of her hairline. So I'm using the ocean and I use that on the parts and I put a little bit on the hair just to get everything together neatly. So we're just using a small piece of the expression braids to start the cornrow and you keep adding it small, small portions depending on the size of the cornrow. And I add mine underneath the, the, the index finger and the thumb. It's, a, it's not so close up right now, but I hope you can still see when I get to another point in the video. So I carried it right down to the back. So I part the hair in three. The hair is parted in three. There's a center part. And then I part out a little V up in the crown of her head. So although I took it to the back, I kind of curve it a little at the back so that it can go into a ponytail. Another thing is when you're doing braids, you have to make sure that your parts are very clean. So sometimes it takes a long time to get the part clean, but we have to do that to ensure that our braids look very professional. So you can just put a little of the edge control on the scalp where the parting is 
and it helps to make your life easier when you're parting and make the parts much cleaner. So while you're plotting out, I normally, when I'm plotting out, I put a little of the edge control on the braids to get everything smooth and less fuzz. So I normally rub a little on, on all parts of the braids when I'm plotting and to keep her ear tucked in. This braid took me about four hours to do, to clip up and to hot water and everything. The process was about four hours.
there we have it a little closer so she doesn't want it too big so I just keep adding a small piece of the expressions underneath my index finger just a small amount and I continue coming down So I'm moving on to the other side now. As you can see our hairline is not so thick so we cannot, we have to know how we part the hairline to give her a nice style. So sometimes the style that you choose has a lot to do with your type of hairline so sometimes you don't get the exact style that you want. So the hairdresser has to do a little twist as I said before. So we have one side done and we're going on to the other side. So we add a small piece at the beginning. And then I put an other piece underneath my index finger. Add in another piece now. And I add my hair underneath. Some people do theirs on top, but everybody does their thing differently. So the aim is to get the hair added without being shown. So when we're done, we have a nice, smooth, neat cornrow looking like your hair. That's why, it, that's why it's called invisible cornrow. So it should look like your hair. No bumps or anything, smooth and neat. So if you notice I didn't leave out any of her hair for the baby hair because she has really fuzzy hair so I didn't leave out any I just did it like that but when I'm finished I still got a little bit of baby hair to be made this hairstyle it can last for about a month or maybe six weeks depending on how you care it and depending on your hair type so within another week or so she will have a lot of baby hair that she needs so we just work with whatever is left out and make a little baby hair at the end so I'm taking it all the way down to the back
so I'm now doing the middle so the middle ones are just going to be part coming down as I said I made a V in the back so we're just going to part those come down So there we have it, I'm almost done, finish corn rowing, I'm going to be trimming up now and hot water in our braids, nice and neat. So we're hot water in our braids now. And if you notice, I use a comb to hold underneath the braid. So I'll use the comb and hold it there so that no hot water don't catch my hand because the water is really hot. And then I use a container up and down with the ends. You get it nice and straight. So that's our finished look if you have made it to the end of my video thanks for watching see you next time remember to like and to share and leave a comment please thank you